I don't know how to do this. Should I just take the whole thing off? I'm nauseous. I have a headache and I just want to lay down. This is always a great feeling. And then the other one that I can pack right now is the pumpkin. So cute. I love it. Not bad at all. And it'll look better with these. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Today really, really, really dragged on. It felt like it was like never ending. But we can check off. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, August 28th and it's 8.50 a.m. And this is another market prep and market vlog. So I have a two day market at the end of this week, Saturday and Sunday. So I'm gonna be spending the week prepping for that and also hopefully getting some other to-dos done. I have my to-do list that I made last week and there's still a lot on here. So I have to make and ship orders. I have to restock on a flower and face tote bag, which I actually made a tote bag, the face one, um, the other day over the weekend. So it's still inside out. I need to finish it, but that'll be good. I hopefully can make more of those this week. I need to restock car coasters, which always consumes the majority of my week. And then I need to film a punch needle kit tutorial. I want to hopefully start getting those put together. I have some boxes I need to take a look at, make sure that they're the right size. They just came in the mail yesterday. I need to make signage for my to-do list. I also should probably email the event coordinator for this weekend and see if I can sell them there. And then I need to color code and list the sales tracker. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen me talk about the percentage of sales that my items end up being when I sell them at markets and just how much revenue they bring in. So Sean has created this template and he spent a few hours over the weekend, probably more than a few hours, creating it so that we're able to sell it because it's not super intuitive the way we have it because we just know how it works. But he's made it very user-friendly. We have a whole instruction page and then we have the actual template that you use during the fairs to track what you sell. So I'll show you it in this vlog so you can see what it looks like, but it's gonna have an instruction page and then a input page where you input the values for your specific products. And then those inputs will automatically load into the actual sales tracking page that you use during the pop-ups. It's cool, I'm excited. So if that's gonna be listed on my Etsy, I think by the end of this week. I also need to put the vinyl on a wood circle I got and hang it on the wall. And that's everything on my to-do list. So by that, I mean I have this logo sticker right here and the wood is actually under it and I wanna stick it onto the wood and then we're gonna get it hung up this week, hopefully. So yeah, I have a few things I wanna start with. I want to pack a couple of keychain orders I have. These are also keychain orders. I'm gonna go ship these out. I wanna put the vinyl on here. I still have to ship out an order or two orders from last week. The first is a to-do list, a sticker, a big coaster, and two Halloween car coasters. The second is four citrus coasters and so those are from last week. And then I also have two Border Collie keychains. That's one order. And then a Siamese Cat keychain. So I'm gonna pack up the keychains and then bring all the orders to the mail room. And then also let me show you my punch needle board. I've done the citrus coasters, so those are for an order. And then four more car coasters are for an order. I have a smiley face and a checkered car coaster order and a pumpkin and a spider web car coaster order in addition to the orders I already told you about. So, four Halloween coasters on here will be four orders, and then I'll have to do the smiley and checkered on my next sheet, and then anything remaining will be for my own inventory. The cookie coasters for my own inventory. I have a cow print, that's for an order. So most of that is for orders, but yeah, let me pack these up and ship them.
Okay, the packages are dropped off. And now I'm gonna work on this. I'm hoping I don't mess it up. <laughs> the wood under it is a little smaller than this. So I'm gonna have to wrap um, the sticker around the edge a bit, which will be fine. Especially because there's like a white lip on the sticker. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Should I just take the whole thing off? Cool. So it looks like this, and then we're gonna put some like hooks on the back, like large ones that you would use to hang a good sized picture frame. We're gonna put two, and then put a nail on the wall or two nails on the wall, and hang it that way. So let me show you the vision in case you didn't see the video where I was talking about it. Okay, so this is my packing supply station, and the plan is to hang this above it. So, that would be like here. Eee! What do you think? I'm excited. Yay, okay, hopefully this will go up in the next day or two. This is awesome. I never thought of doing this as a way of making like a permanent sign, like just getting a vinyl sticker. Okay, I'm so excited about that sign. I'm excited to get it hung up hopefully soon. Now, before I continue working on my punch needle sheet, I want to take a look at these boxes that I ordered for the punch needle kits and make sure they're the right size um, because I don't know exactly the size I want slash need. Like, well, I, I pretty much do, but that's it. it's just a matter of if my measurements were done correctly. Um, I think this will go... These are nice boxes, they're nice and durable. I mean, this seems like it's gonna be the perfect size. That was super easy. Also, I need to add this to my to-do list to make um, the stickers for the box. So punch needle kit stickers. At least design them would be nice. Oh, and then, oh, oh my gosh. I have custom sticker order that I need to get done. I actually have two, so I'll just write it twice. One can wait, potentially. That fits the punch needle um, embroidery hoop with the pattern on it. What else was a big thing? Oh, the punch needle. Ah, oh my gosh, this is the perfect size. And then we'll close, and the yarn will fit. Okay, yay, this is perfect. So, I'm gonna have to build these boxes at some point as well. Okay, so I'm gonna keep working on the punch needle sheet. That might take up most, if not the rest of today because it's important. I think, oh shoot, yeah. That's gonna take up the rest of today because I need to ship these orders out tomorrow. I forgot about that. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight car coasters and a big coaster, no, nine car coasters and a big coaster to do. So let's get to work.
it's almost 12 o'clock and I'm laying on the couch. I've been working on car coasters for most of this morning. I did the black spots on the cow coaster and then I've been working on black detailing on the other car coasters. But I started my period this morning and this might be the worst I've ever felt. My cramps are so bad, I'm nauseous, I have a headache and I just wanna lay down in my bed and I might just do that but it just stinks because I need to get these orders done today and shipped out tomorrow, so that's like non-negotiable. It has to be done. So I'm just hoping, I'm gonna take a break and I'm hoping that I can feel better in a little bit. Usually it just passes. I haven't felt this bad in a while, but it kind of comes and goes, um, like typically. So I'm hoping this passes or mitigates a little bit as the day goes on. But that's the update, yeah. It's 1.34 right now and I started feeling a lot better at one, so like an hour after I took the last clip. And then Sean got home and he gave me a back massage and made me a Caesar salad. And I'm gonna attribute him to the reason I feel better, but it really made my day. I've been working on the car coasters. This is a progress. I'm currently doing a spider web and I'm just gonna keep working on this. Like I said, I need to get these done. I think I might be up late <laughs> at this rate, but we will see. Also, I think Sean and I wanna take Duncan to my parents tonight to play with Winnie, just cause that's like a good way to exercise him. And we haven't taken him on a walk today or anything. So probably gonna do that tonight. And if my punch needling is not done by then, I'm most likely gonna take it with me to work on it there. So yeah, I'm happy that I'm feeling better. That was rough, but we made it through. <laughs> It's 3.37. Most of this video has been on this couch, but most of my day has been on this couch. So this is the update. We got some spooky coasters in the making. And I just posted a poll on my Instagram asking about the interest for my punch needle kits. I don't know if that was a good platform to post it on. I might also post a poll on YouTube, but the thing is, I don't know if the same people would vote on Instagram and YouTube. I don't want to like double the um, votes, if that makes sense. Like I don't want someone to vote on both platforms, but I only have 10 punch singles right now and 10, 18, I think I have 18 rings, like embroidery hoops. So the limiting item is the punch needles that's the thing i have the lowest amount of so honestly regardless of what the poll says i think i'm gonna order more punch needles because initially launching the kits with only 10 kits available i feel like is a little low because i just i feel like there's more interest than that for the kits i think i'll sell more than 10 at first so yeah I think I'm gonna order some more punch needles. I'm gonna text Sean and have him order it and then I'll use my business card because I'm not quite sure how he ordered them last time. Oh, he just, I'm texting him about it right now. He said, I bet I could help prepare the kits, like cut fabric and put into hoops. Maybe trace and measure out yarn weight. Yes, that would be very helpful. That's the thing. I want these kits out sooner rather than later but I have things that take priority such as existing orders and inventory. So I keep talking with the kids and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to do it. I'm at least gonna do the tutorial this week. I'm holding myself to that. And then it's just gonna be preparing the kids, which is gonna be so exciting. So yeah, I think we'll order more today. And I don't know, I'm excited. This is something that Sean and I have been thinking about doing since we were living in New York. Like it's been months and months that we have wanted to do these kits. So very excited. I think I'm gonna try to sell them in person as well, but let's keep working on this for the time being. And then maybe tomorrow I can film the tutorial. It's 
5'11 and I finished the coaster sheet. This is always a great feeling. I also trimmed the backs of all of the coasters, so now I just need to cut them out and then do the whole backing process. So I think I'm just gonna cut them out for now. And then we're going to my parents for dinner tonight and for the dogs to play. And I wanna bring something to work on there. I'm either gonna bring a tote bag or my iPad to work on the custom sticker design I have to do. So that's the plan for tonight. I'm trying to waste no time this week. I wanna get a lot done. It's the next morning, so today is Tuesday and it's almost 10.30. Duncan's agility training got moved from 11 to 2 p.m. on Tuesdays now. So he has that at two, which I'm so excited for. It's so cute watching him do that. And this morning has already been kind of crazy. I spent a good amount of time trying to figure out charges on my card that were marked as fraudulent and I knew they weren't fraudulent. So I tried to take care of it over text. I thought it was good, but it wasn't. Then the uh, credit union called me and I got it sorted out. So that's all good. It's now 10.30. I still have half my breakfast here because I got interrupted to go take Doug into the bathroom. And yesterday I finished half of the coasters. So I put the backs on all of the Halloween ones because I wanted to take updated product photos. So those are already done. I didn't vlog that because I was trying to get good lighting before the sun started to set. So. I did that, but I still have half to finish. So I'm gonna finish the coasters this morning, pack up and ship out some orders, and then get started on another sheet of coasters, which I need to actually stretch the fabric on this too. And then, oh shoot, I wanted to film the tutorial today. Maybe I'll film the punch needle tutorial after I ship out these orders. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna finish my grapefruit and then we can finish the coasters. I'm setting, there's no need to fuss about it Lost my drive, I don't even feel like Was a program to live without it It's time to level up Do things I've never done No need for player two Still working on player one Heart ain't broken, but it's bent Tried to open up again Gave and never thought the same Love's a losing game, yes it's Okay, so I just finished the coasters and I need to go through and see which ones are for my inventory and which ones are for orders. I also have the Halloween ones here. Lots of coasters. I know the cookie is for me and I'm pretty sure the mushrooms are my inventory. So let me pull up my orders. I think again, I might just do one order packed on TikTok because I do have a large order with four items. So, so that'll be the bat, the jack-o'-lantern, that's one order. All the citruses is another order. Oh wait, bat, jack-o'-lantern, that goes with the cow. And then she also got a sticker and a to-do list. Here's the to-do list and the sticker. And then the other one that I can pack right now is the pumpkin, very cute, and the spider web. Okay, so I'm gonna set aside that one to pack on TikTok. That means these three for my own inventory this is for my own inventory okay let's pack these up And then the next order are the citrus coasters. So they ordered a lime, a lemon, an orange, and a grapefruit, which are all of the options for my citrus coasters.
Okay, I'm going to pack the other order on TikTok and then go drop these off at the post office. It's 12 o'clock and I was just setting up everything to film the tutorial and I realized Sean's gonna be home for lunch soon and I set this up in the common space. So I think I'm gonna wait until he goes back to work after lunch to film this. And I was trying to figure out what I wanna do right now. I think Sean has to stretch the fabric at lunch for me, so I'm not gonna work on coasters yet. But I think what I'm gonna do is create a pricing sign for my tote, not my tote, um, my to-do list. And then I also want to make a, like important tips, things to remember when punch needling sheet for this punch needle kit. So I'm not gonna have an instruction guide because the tutorial is the instruction guide, but I do wanna have like tips or if you're having issues, possible solutions so that you can quickly reference that and not have to do Googling or outside research. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna include a link to my how to punch needle tutorial on that page. Sorry, I'm walking around so much. I'm like doing things as I'm talking right now. But yeah, I'm gonna create that sheet and also signage for the to-do lists. Okay, I just made the sign and I just did the same heading that I have on the actual to-do lists as the sign, just so it's matchy. And now I'm gonna work on the punch needle guide for the kits. Sean is home from work for lunch and he's gonna help me hang up the sign while he's here. I'm so excited. Duncan, are you gonna help? Get him a hard hat. <laughs> oh baby, look at you. When you walk in, everybody got their eyes on you. On you, on you, on you. Oh baby, look at you. Love how you sway like you got nothing to prove. Play by your own rules. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. Wow. Oh my gosh, look how cool. I'll leave my bill on the table. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's 1.30, the sign is hung. I also finished the to-do list sign, as you saw. I just need to print that and stick it on to the actual display. Also, I just emailed the event coordinator, making sure, well, asking if I can sell the to-do list at her events. So we'll see if I'm gonna bring them this weekend. And then I also finished the punch needle guide. I just have to add the QR code for the tutorial once I film that and upload it. But yeah, I'm feeling good. And Duncan and I are about to leave for his agility training. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then when I get back, I will talk to you and figure out what we're gonna do next. Probably, oh wait, no, we gotta film the punch needle tutorial. Okay. I will see you soon. I am back home with Duncan from his agility class and it's four o'clock already. I like just walked in. I was taking him to go to the bathroom for a while and we talked to the trainer, my mom and I, because my mom came to watch the class. Uh, we talked to her for a while. So it's four o'clock, I just got back home and I moved the setup for my tutorial into the office because I'm gonna have to film it when Sean's home and I don't wanna take up the whole living area to do that. So I moved in here waiting for Sean to get home so he can watch Duncan and I'll start filming this. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna finish a tote bag that I did the other day, it's the face tote. All I have to do is the backing on it and make a price tag. So I'm gonna do that now and then we will do the tutorial. Also, the event coordinator emailed me back and said that I could sell my to-do list at the fair. So that's amazing and I'm excited to be able to bring them and do that this weekend. I'm trying to get you on my mind less But then again, I couldn't mind less Got me like, what's in your coffee? I hope you call me And we can talk about our hobbies, yeah Like finding movies to get lost in And quoting phrases from the office What's it like to wear that halo? So sweet it's painful So would you put me on your payroll, girl? I know it's probably not too healthy 
Okay, I just finished the tote bag. I ironed it and I put it away. And right as I finished that, I got an order for a West Highland Terrier keychain. So I'm gonna pack that up. Okay, I'm literally just trying to kill time right now before Sean comes home from work. It is 4.30 and I printed out the sign for the to-do list. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna stick this onto the display. I think that is good. Right. Then, I just wanna put the to-do list in there again to see what it looks like. Yay, oh, I think that's so cute. I'm actually gonna take a picture of this too for Instagram. So cute, I love it. I really like this because it's small and I don't have a ton of room on my tables. I'm actually gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna fit this alone. I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but I think it's so cute. And then I'm so excited about that. Oh. A lot of exciting things in this video. I'm also excited to film my punch needle tutorial, which I need to get on that, although I am waiting for Sean to get home, but that's what I'm doing next. Okay, I filmed the punch needle tutorial. I accidentally filmed it on this memory card, so I'm gonna edit that in a minute. I also just made the sticker for the box. Let me show you it. So I decided to do 12 inches long and six inches wide, and I only want the first six inches to have the text and picture of the coaster because only the first six inches will be on the top part. Everything else is gonna wrap around and act as a way of sealing this box. So six inches here, six inches around this area so I don't want writing on it. And I'm gonna print this and see if it fits. Although I'm just thinking, I can't print this <laughs> because a normal sheet of printer paper is eight by 11, I think. So I might have to shorten this to be 11 inches and that should be fine. Okay, I just changed it to be 11 inches and I'm gonna print this and see if it's gonna work. I just printed and cut out the sticker and I think it's perfect. My vision is that it's not gonna go all the way up to the top, it's just gonna go like right here, mostly because printer paper is only so long. So it's gonna start about here, which I think looks fine, and then wrap all the way down side ah, i'm so excited <laughs> okay now i just have a lot of work ahead of me to put together these kits i also need to make one more of the coaster by the way this is the coaster this is what i made in the tutorial but i need to make it again and remove the thread so i know how much thread it requires or yarn it requires and then i'm gonna put a little more than what it requires um just to be safe but yeah, gotta do that. That's like the last step and then I can just start putting them together. I do wanna edit the tutorial, so I'm gonna do that right now. And then honestly, I should probably start working on more cover coasters or at least get them traced onto my embroidery sheet. It's 6.52 right now, so time is getting away from me, but I feel pretty productive. Let's take a look actually at my to-do list because I know that we can check some things off. Okay, I don't know where my pink pen went. I think it's in the other room, but we can check off film punch needle kit tutorial that has been on my mind for a long time um make to do list signage we can check off uh color code and list sales tracker i did color code it but i need to list it still on etsy maybe i'll do that tonight or tomorrow vinyl on wood and hang we did that today the sign um email event coordinator about to do lists we did that um punch needle kit stickers I did design those. I think that was just about designing them. Custom sticker order, I still need to finish these two and then I need to edit the punch needle tutorial. I just added that to the list right now. But yeah, wow, we're really checking things off this list. Feels good. I'm gonna go edit the tutorial. It's 1 a.m. I guess it's technically Wednesday now. Sean and I just finished finalizing and uploading the sales tracking template. So it is officially on Etsy. Duncan is barking himself in the TV and I'm about to go to bed, but I just wanted to pop in and say that and usually we don't stay up this link, kind of crazy. So I'm gonna link that below. I'll link the sales tracking template. I hope the instructions are not confusing. We tried to lay it out as much as we could and explain as much as we could without over explaining, but I don't know how we did. 
And yeah, I'm trying to think if I did anything else tonight. Oh yeah, I finished editing the punch needle tutorial for the kits and I uploaded that as unlisted and I linked it in the PDF that I'm gonna include in the kits. So the PDF is good to go, which is like the punch needle guide and like the materials that are in the kit. I put that in a PDF, I'm gonna print it and put it in each kit and the video is uploaded. So all I have to do now is make another coaster and then take the yarn out to measure how much yarn I used so I know how much to put into the kits. I'm gonna put a little more than what I use, but yeah, that's all I have to do. I'm maybe gonna do that tomorrow, but tomorrow I just need to like make a ton of car coasters because I have an order that needs to go out Friday, so I need to have another sheet done by Friday. Okay, I'm talking fast because I'm ready to go to bed. It's 10 after one. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. It's 9.23 a.m. It's another rainy day. This summer has been so rainy, but I can't say I hate it because I'm gonna be working inside anyways, so might as well be cozy. Duncan, come. <laughs> you can't even see him. Good boy. Good come. Good boy. Anyways, it's 9.23 and today is just car coaster day. I might do other things as well, but I need to just bang out car coasters. So I'm gonna start tracing on my sheet. My sheet's behind me. But yeah, let's just get to work. I'm gonna be working pretty much all day. And then at the end of today, or like probably around dinner time, we're going to my parents, maybe after dinner. We're going to my parents to pick up some packages and let the dogs play. And I might bring my punch needle stuff to work on there, depending where I'm at. So yeah, let's do it. I just filmed that last clip and I took a look at my coaster board, my car coaster board, and it actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it did. So this one sheet, which only has one order on it, so that means um, all but two coasters will be for my inventory. So I'll make 14 for my own inventory. It should be enough for this weekend's market. I might not even do all 16. I might save some room and do a big coaster because I'm very low on big coasters. But yeah, that means I might have time for a tote bag or two as well. But also maybe I'll just use that time to do other things like make the other cloud coaster and finalize everything I need to start making the kits. But yeah, I'm gonna work on car coasters for now. Somebody, I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go about you but sometimes I do cause sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on first avenue cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first all of the turns that I had to unlearn back to the surface the feeling of all that we were it's 8 p.m. and it's still Wednesday and this is the update on the coaster sheet. I always say that the same way. I'm like, this is the update, this is the progress. But yeah, I have a lot of pink coasters on here. That wasn't planned, but I think it looks so cute. This is for an order. How adorable. You guys seriously pick out the cutest color combos and designs. So that's an order. And then everything else is for my own inventory, which I love. And the camera is like foggy over here. Let me fix it. Anyways, this is what we're working with. I have seven more coasters to do. I did nine coasters today, which is pretty good, especially considering that I was like kind of getting distracted a lot today because I was so tired. And then Sean and I went to my parents to get some packages and let the dogs play. So that took up some time. But for the rest of tonight, we are making dinner. So still have to eat. I think I'm gonna take a bath and relax. I need to bathe Duncan. And then I'm gonna work on a custom sticker order. And there's like a bunch of people in this order. There's one, or in the design, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 people. So I've been slowly chugging away at it. This is what it looks like. Uh, the fourth person is like half invisible because there's someone in front of her. But I need to finish this at some point, hopefully soon. So I wanna work on that tonight. And then, 
yeah i was also talking to sean i'm like, like should we come up with a release date for these punch needle kits so that people know when they're coming but the thing is we're still waiting on punch needles we just ordered more so i can't really come up with a date until i know when those are going to be in or that they're in and i prefer to just wait until they're here because um you know shipping is always it can get messed up so is that weird if i just release them when they're ready <laughs> or should i come up with a date to release them we'll see um but i'm thinking within the next week or so today is august 30th so one to two weeks i'd like to have them out i already showed you this but i'm like looking at this again so cute putting the kits together is not going to be a quick thing because we need to stretch fabric trace it but i guess we could start getting going on this step this is gonna be the longest step aside from um, measuring out the yarn for all the kits and then I also need to print out the sheets that are gonna go in there I could probably get going on that soon I'm just thinking out loud right now uh, I'm gonna go take a bath and then I will work on this design later tonight which I don't know if I'm gonna film it because since it's a custom sticker you can see people's actual faces but that's the plan I will probably see you tomorrow morning I have a physical tomorrow morning at 9 30 but after that it is a full work day making these coasters hopefully i can finish this and maybe even finish the backings that would be a good goal and i would feel good if i achieved that tomorrow so still a lot left for this week even though i know it's gonna fly by good morning today is thursday and it's 11 a.m i went to my physical i came back i ate breakfast and now i'm about to get started on working for today i already showed you what this is looking like but I just need to do the seven coasters today. So I'm gonna just sit in my office and see how much I can get done right now. And I think also as I sit here, I'm gonna start printing out the punch needle guide and material list for the kits. So then I can just have those ready to go. Um, so I'm gonna double check, make sure that they're how I want them to be. And then also I mentioned yesterday that we went to my parents to pick up some packages. So I wanna show you what I got. So first I got a whole bunch of hot glue sticks. I go through these like it's my job. Well, it is my job. <laughs> I guess that expression makes a lot of sense. I go through these like it's my job and they're packs of 75. I need to see if I can get even bigger packs. I just get them from Amazon. I also got a whole bunch because I'm gonna be including two glue sticks in every punch needle kit. Sean brought up the point that they're not gonna fit every glue gun. They're gonna fit like the small glue guns that you can get. So I hope that everyone can use them. Otherwise, maybe in the future, I won't continue to put the glue sticks in the kit. Um, so I don't want them to go to waste. But yeah, I'm gonna put these away. And I also got a whole bunch of Sharpies. I use these Sharpies to trace my designs for my coasters onto my sheet. So we wanted to get some more Sharpies. We don't really have too many that are good. I think I only had one that was like still okay. And I also have a whole bunch of fine tip Sharpies coming because I'm gonna use the fine tips for the punch needle kits and then the big ones for my own tracing because I just think it looks neater with the fine tip but personally i like using a thicker sharpie so for my own so yeah that's what i got yesterday i have like a lot of packages coming in the mail to be honest so there'll be more package opening i'm sure in the next vlog or even this vlog but for now i'm gonna get to work i'm gonna start printing out these punch needle guides and finishing some coasters I got those Sean is working from home today, so that's why I'm able to be in my office without Duncan. He's watching Duncan, but it is 12:15 right now, 
and we're about to go on a walk with Duncan and I just want to show you what I've been doing. I mean, you just saw, but I separated the punch needle guide and materials into like sets of two. So I have the punch needle and the materials. So this goes into one kit and then the next two I laid this way so that we can easily grab the two when we're packing the kits. So I'm going to move these to the side, probably on that table or something. This office is looking messy. It's just so many boxes of cans. That's what like fills up the space. But yeah, and then this, let me show you the progress. So the small details are honestly what makes the coasters take a long time. So I just need to add blue to Kirby's eyes and then I can finish him with pink. I need to add his nose um, and then I need to add details here. This one shouldn't take too long and I have these two. So it shouldn't be too bad, but I'm going to continue working on these when we get back from our walk. It is 20 of 5 and I just finished tufting. Whenever I tuft all day, I get down to like the last two coasters, which in this case was the Minions. And I'm like so wanting to just take a break and not finish. Like the final push is the hardest for some reason, but let me show you the sheet. So like I said, these two are for an order, but everything else is for the board, which I don't know if I show what this is looking like in this vlog yet but not bad at all and it'll look better with these. So after this, after I finish these coasters, I'm not making any more for this weekend's market. I might make a tote bag tomorrow um, or like maybe big coasters. I don't think I'm gonna do that realistically. Also, my family's going on the boat tomorrow so I'm wondering if I should just take the day and go on the boat with them because work-life balance <laughs> um, and I don't have too much to do for the market i think i want to get this coaster done for the kits either tonight or tomorrow even if i go in the boat so that way i'll feel like i'm still working well i will be still working if i do that so that's what i'm thinking the goal is now to finish the backings tonight for these coasters and they'll be done for tonight so Okay, these are all of the coasters completed, so I'm going to put them away and then pack up this order. So first I have two strawberries. I decided to do pink backgrounds because people like to buy the backgrounds that aren't white because the white can get dirty. And I just think the strawberry is so cute with the pink. 
obviously if it gets dirty, it's washable, they're hand washable, and you can also lint roll them, you can put stain remover, it's just made of yarn, so everything's waterproof. Okay, then I have a lot of the mushrooms. So I did two pink, because I was completely out of pink. One red and one green. Then I have an angel and stitch. And then I did one more of each of the minions. I did another evil eye. I have two of these already, but this is a popular one. Then I did another wavy because I only had one. And then I made two Kirby's. And I have a couple of Halloween ones from earlier this week. I think it was this week, but I don't know where to put them. So I'm gonna try to make room. Okay, so this is what the board's looking like. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, obviously, I can always have more inventory, but I have at least two of every design. So that's always my goal. So yeah, this is ready to go for this weekend. And then I was curious, I feel like I have some Halloween big coasters that I've just not been pointing out because it hasn't been the time of year, but I think that I can start putting that out with my coasters, but I wanna check because I'm not sure. Okay, so it turns out I do have a big Halloween coaster, so I'm gonna put this with my other coasters to start putting out at the market. And then I also found these car coasters. So these are autumn Halloween car coasters, so I'm gonna put these on my board as well. And it's 8.35 right now, and I have a few things I want to do before the night is over and I need to go to bed. Um, oh, I still need to pack this order. But after I pack this order, I'm going to pack this for tomorrow. I am going on the boat tomorrow. So I'm going to pack this with the colors I need to complete this. Um, this is the one for the kit that I need to do to measure the yarn. And then I also want to, I have to think, oh, I want to prep a tote bag. So I want to get a tote bag ready to bring on the boat. Yeah, let's pack up this order, do those things. And then after that, I'm going to make some banana bread and I'll probably take some of that onto the boat because we have three ripe bananas that need to be used. So that's the plan. Let's do it. I am at my parents, it's 10 15 ish, and the dogs are going crazy. They play like every day, but you'd think they'd maybe like get a little less crazy. I think they're getting crazier every time. But we're about to leave for the boat, and like last vlog, I'll take clips on the boat. I'm gonna be working on the boat as well, like I was saying yesterday. So I'm excited, and I will see you when we're on the boat. I'm like, what is going on? They're playing on top of me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Heard it from a friend, she was in our bed, should have known better. Said it was the truth, she came on to you, yeah, but you let her. Knocked me over ten feet forward Never knew I could sleep alone good I've never been better You're probably out there somewhere missing me Wish I had an ounce of sympathy Yeah, I tell my friends that I wish you well But the truth is, honey, that I hope it hurts like hell tried putting up a fight bet you feel stupid try to make a scene didn't change a thing damn it you blew it and you're probably out there somewhere missing me wish i had an ounce of sympathy yeah i tell my friends that i wish you well but the truth is honey that i hope it hurts like hell Like hell, I hate to hate someone. 
so easy Make it so damn easy Hate to say I won But you're the one who needs me And I'm the one who's leaving Yeah, I tell my I'm back home from the boat. It's 9.09 p.m. We just went to my parents for pizza, so that's why it's so late. But I finished the tote bag on the boat, as you saw. So now I just have to actually finish it and glue the fabric to the back. I also need to trim it and then turn it right side in because it's inside out right now. And that's all I have to do tonight. I might also just like make sure everything's packed but i'm pretty sure it is all good to go also i finished the cloud coaster so i just need to take the yarn out of that coaster and measure the yarn and then we can start making kits i'm so excited okay i'm gonna just plug this in and finish this tote and then i will see you tomorrow for the first day of this two-day market i don't know how this is gonna go this is our first time doing a craft fair on labor day weekend so I'm thinking it could be either really great because it's Labor Day weekend or really bad because it's Labor Day weekend and people like go away. I didn't say this yet, but the fair is 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. both days, so both Saturday and Sunday. So it's a seven hour market. We're probably gonna leave here around 7.45 a.m. So that's like a 12 hour day, more than 12 hours by the time we get home. But yeah, it's about an hour drive, so. Heard it from a friend, she was in our bed, should have known better. Said it was the truth, she came on to you, yeah, but you let her. Knocked me over ten feet forward. Okay, it is the same night, it's still Friday, and I'm sitting here about to put together the first punch needle kit. I'm thinking these are gonna be available next week. I'm a little nervous though because it's not a lot of yarn that I'm putting in the kits, this is how much yarn. This is more than enough to do the project. I measured how much I used to make the coaster and I did more than that for the kits. But I don't wanna give like a lot of yarn just so that it looks like a lot and then you have all this leftover that is just gonna get like thrown out. So I'm giving more than enough to do the project. If you undo a mistake, like you take the yarn out, reuse that yarn. You have the amount that I give you so don't waste any basically. Um, I'm gonna put the punch needle in first, then the glue sticks, then the felt. Actually, the felt I'm putting under, then the hoop, and the yarn. I'm gonna put the yarn and the glue sticks into this little bag. This like product I'm so nervous about because <laughs> there's much more planning than like making an item. Put that here. And then I'm gonna put the instructions this way and this way. Instructions. If you get this one, you will have gotten a special. <laughs> package okay. I'm nervous because like it doesn't look perfect but I don't know how to make it look perfect <laughs> but I think it's cute what do we think because I'm not gonna do it like this for the other ones okay thank you no and then I want to put stamps because how cute would that be Oh my gosh, I think it's cute. <laughs> okay. And then, last but not least, the big sticker. Oh, I need to put, <laughs> I need to put a thank you card. Okay, I said, Thank you so much for purchasing a kit. I hope you have so much fun making a coaster. I'd love to see your creation. Tag me on Instagram at our cherry corner. Love. Sincerely, Jessica. Okay, I'm gonna 
It's just the rest is on top, I think. I was gonna try to slide it in, but I can't because I put the sticker. In. Okay. Okay, okay, why am I nervous? Oh, I'm just going for it. What do we think? It definitely could be cuter, but I feel like it's cute. I like it. Let me know what you think. I'm very excited. Okay. I'm officially going to be done for tonight. I need to pack my lunch for tomorrow. Sean just made stuff to make a salad. Like he made sweet potatoes and chicken. So I'm going to do that. And then I think I'm pretty good to go to bed. Because it's already like 1030 I think. <laughs> I'm still sitting at my desk and looking at my to-do list. And we can check some more things off. So make and ship orders can be checked. Even though I have more orders that I need to make and ship. But that's kind of always happening, which is great. That's actually amazing that I can say that. Restock flower and face tote. I restocked the face tote. I made another one today, so I have two of those. Restock car coasters I did. Um, custom sticker order. I'm like half done, so I'm not gonna write anything there. And then I edited the punch needle tutorial, so that's great. Oh, a color code and list sales tracker. I did that as well. That's it, so we just have the custom stickers and have to restock the flower tote bag. So very, very exciting. I'm gonna probably start a new to-do list next week or just keep adding to this. I'll probably just keep adding. But yeah, very exciting. We love productivity. Now I will officially see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is 8.41 and we're 10 minutes away and we are both so tired. I like slept this whole ride. Duncan is also very tired. And I forgot to mention, but we were not able to bring our candles to this market because the candle category was already filled, was already filled. Um, so we only have one table. We did bring the other table in case we want to use it, but I don't think we have enough product to fill two tables without the candles. So it'll be interesting though, seeing where I want to put the to-do lists. That's like the only reason I brought another table, but I don't need a whole table for that. Could you imagine? <laughs> I know. So, yeah, I don't know our plan. I thought I was gonna be more awake by the time I got here, but I'm more tired than when I got into the car. I have a matcha though, so right here. I will be drinking all of that. And it feels like fall. It's September 2nd. It was 53 degrees this morning. It's like 56. It's like 50. Oh my god, this lighting. It's like 56 degrees now, um, but it's gonna get up to 77, so it won't feel like fall later. But yeah, I will see you when we get there for the setup and for the market. Okay, we're pulling up, and she said in the email that she's gonna come up to us and show us to her spot. So, we have to wait for her. Whoa, oh, that didn't sound. But I see all the tents. Good morning. Thank you for your patience. No, of course. <laughs> okay, we're following her in her golf cart. How are we gonna get through? I'll just check my side right You're here. You're good. We're right here.
Nothing can tempt me I'm staying at the house tonight If I get a little antsy I'm taking myself for a drive I'm any plenty Solitude to feed my soul Until I feel whole but still She left me lonely Now I see her in my dreams It's 10.15 and we're all set up and there's not too many people here yet, but it just started, so I'm hopeful. If I could ever turn back time and do it all again, you know that I would, you know that I would. And if I could live it every night and do it all again, you know that I would. Hello. Hello. Did you like it back? Um, no, I'm not going to my car. And there's a little film on the back of each that you can take. Do you want a bag? I uh, know. Oh, here's the check Okay, thank you so much. Have a great day. Hello. Hi there. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Do you want a bag? Uh, no. So it's $9. It's $12. Do you want a bag? I know I'm going to put them right on this. Okay, perfect. Your new water bottle gold bag here. Thank you so much. You got it? Yeah. Wonderful. Have a great Thank day. You. you too. Thank you. Everything would be alright. And if I knew what the end would feel like, it feels like. If I could ever turn back time. It's 3.15 and it's slowed down quite a bit, but we're at 4, how much? 480 in sales, so that's pretty good. It was 235 for both days combined, so we made the booth fee and then we have tomorrow too, so that's very good. And that's also without candles and we sold 25 keychains today, <laughs> which is wild. I'm back from day one of the fair. It's 7.15 p.m. and it ended at five. We packed up. We stopped at my parents to pick up a package. We stopped at the grocery store to pick up some stuff for lunch tomorrow. And now we're here. And I'm snacking on Scandinavian swimmers from Trader Joe's, the sour ones, and they're so good. But I wanted to go over some of the numbers. I'm sure I put it on screen like I usually do. 
so I'm gonna make it quick, but I made $523 today. I didn't do any notepad sales. I didn't do any candle sales because we didn't have the candles. 31.93% were car coasters, percent of sales. 17.78% of sales were stickers. I didn't sell any big coasters or phone grips. 50.29% were keychains, and I didn't sell any tote bags. So car coasters, stickers, and keychains made up all of my sales. A quick rundown of today. It was pretty busy. There was a couple of hours that it definitely slowed down. It's unfortunate that we can't have our candles. The reason is because the candle category is filled up, but personally I think our candles are different enough that it would have been fine because our candles are in like beer and soda cans, but that's okay. Um, maybe next year if we get in earlier we hopefully will be able to sell candles uh, if we decide to go back. But yeah, pretty good for not having candles and I'm hopeful for tomorrow as well. It was very nice weather, good foot traffic, and good vibes all around. I'm tired, which you might be able to tell, but it's a long day. Especially after prepping for a week, it, it's just draining. It's what I want to do, but it's draining, so that's why I'm like a little low energy. I have a few things to do in preparation for tomorrow, but also just because I need to do it. So first of all, I have three keychain orders, which is crazy. I think they all came today. Did they? Yeah, they were all placed today. So I have an order for a German Shepherd keychain, an order for a yellow lap keychain, and an order for a tuxedo cat keychain. So I'm gonna pack those up, although they can't ship out till Tuesday. But I think I'm gonna do that anyways, just so they're set aside, I don't have the quantity. Then I wanna look at keychains I need to restock, like take from my office inventory and put into my pop-up inventory. And then I wanna go into Etsy and edit any inventories that are low. And then I need to restock some stickers for tomorrow. I'm out of at least three designs. And then there's some others that I'm pretty low on. So that's tonight and hopefully it won't take too long, but I'm gonna get started right away with those keychain orders. It's 8.18 and I've packed up the orders. I'm gonna ship them out on Tuesday, but I just wanted to get them done. And I should start using this angle more. I have my sign in the background. Um, but was that also this vlog? Oh my gosh. This really has like actually felt like a longer week, which is rare. But I think I'm about to do stickers. If I'm being honest, I really don't want to. I'm just like tired, <laughs> don't wanna do it. But I should. <laughs> I think I'm gonna print them and laminate them and then maybe like take a bath and then cut them. That could be a vibe, like divide up the work a little bit. Um, it's not even that late, I just, I'm just tired. Oh, that's what I need to do. I have to approve the cuts for my keychains. Well, I have to see if she's sent me them to approve. Let me see. Duncan is in this order. I'm ordering Duncan as a keychain. I'm ordering 10. And whatever we don't use, I think I'm going to just put on Etsy. Or, yeah, probably on Etsy. Um, and just sell them. And if they don't sell, that's fine. I'll have extra Duncan keychains. But I'm going to tell her these look great because I just looked at it. I've been wasting away. It is 9 a.m. It's Sunday and we just got Duncan's. We're like 10 minutes away from the market. I got an iced chai. This is like a fall in the cup for me. And we just took our inventory home yesterday. We have all the display pieces still up, like the tables, 
the keychain display. So I just need to put the inventory back. So keychains, tote bags, um, car coasters, big coasters, phone grips. I'm so sorry, the lighting's always gonna be bad when <laughs> I'm vlogging in the car. There's just like no way around it. But I will see you when the market starts because we only have like 15 minutes before we need to get the car off the road once we get there. So we're gonna be rushing to just get inventory up. Okay, I will see you when it begins. back from the fair it's 7 37 i showered we went grocery shopping we've done a few things the fair ended at five but now it's time to debrief on today and the weekend as a whole so today started off i felt pretty good like i felt like it was pretty equal to yesterday in terms of foot traffic but then if i had to guess i feel like around 1 p.m it's starting to slow down and definitely by Mm, 3 2 33 through the rest of the night it was like very slow and then by four o'clock it was like dead like no one was there shopping so that's not great because yesterday sean and i were saying and we said this today too that next year if we can bring our candles then we'll do it again if we can't bring our candles i don't think we will but even if we had our candles tonight there weren't people there shopping so that wouldn't have made a difference during those hours but i think having candles would have made up for that lull but we didn't do bad we made a profit of 735 dollars but that's not counting cost of goods sold that's just counting the booth fee so total revenue was 970 for the weekend but minus the booth fee was 735. Then you have to minus all the costs of good, my time, et cetera, et cetera. So that's not calculated, but that is like a general net profit for the weekend. Yeah, I mean, I like the venue. I just think it got slow and that's never fun. So today, if I'm being honest, <laughs> today really, really, really dragged on. It felt like it was like never ending. And I think it doesn't help that I'm getting sick because I just got a vaccine like two days ago, two or three days ago. And so I'm getting like a cold and I just like didn't feel good. Duncan started getting restless oddly enough. Like he doesn't usually get like that, but he was just like not wanting to be by the booth. He was like barking. So it's just all of that made me like ready to leave. I want to end this vlog off by showing the template that is available on my Etsy. I did this earlier in the vlog and I didn't include it because we have since changed the template and I've only had one person purchase it so I'm going to send them the new link so that they have the new template as well if they want to use that one. But we only changed one thing which is how you enter the prices for your product but let me show you the template and how to use it and I'm gonna link it below which I was saying at the beginning of this video so that you can check it out but this way you have like more of an idea of what it's about also if you hear Duncan barking he's like barking at his reflection in the TV <laughs> uh, but I also want to just say if you're new and you have no clue what I'm even talking about this is a sales tracking template for if you also do pop-ups this is what we use we actually made it better than what we use and more user-friendly um, 
But yeah, this is just how you can track your sales and percent of sales for each item you'll see in a second. The only thing is it doesn't do inventory management. So it's not inventory management spreadsheet. It's a sales tracker spreadsheet. If and when you purchase on my Etsy, you'll get a PDF which will have all these instructions and it also has a link to this Google Sheet. So the first sheet is a instruction sheet. Also, the first thing you wanna do when you open the link is make a copy. So you're gonna to go to file make a copy, make a copy, and now it's not view only. If you don't make a copy, it's gonna be view only and you're not gonna be able to edit anything. So you will realize quick enough that something's not right, you need to make a copy. So there's two templates here. You have V2 and V1. So first I'm showing V2, so you can use either or. So for V2, you need to first go to V2 inputs and you're gonna input your items and the price and here just quantity so I would do like 1 to 20 1 to 10 it can hold up to 20 basically this is how many that can be purchased at a time so like if someone buys five then you're just gonna select five um, and you're just tracking how many are sold so it doesn't have to be per transaction if you get two transactions and within those two transactions you sold five tote bags together then I would just log it as five on your spreadsheet but let me fill this out for an example. Okay, so I just put a few of my items so you can see tote bag, sticker, coaster, and then the price for each one, and then quantities, I just did up to eight. Then you're gonna make a copy of the template. I'm sorry, I keep saying copy, you're gonna duplicate it. You make a copy of this whole sheet when you first get it, but then with the templates you're duplicating. So I right clicked and then hit duplicate, and now it is no longer protected. There's not that lock sign next to it. So this is copy of V2. What I would recommend doing, and we explain all of this in the directions, but I would name this template the name of your event. Every time you have a new event, you make another duplicate of this, and then you can just name it the name of the event. So you'll have a new spreadsheet for each event. So, or you could just keep doing it on one spreadsheet, but we like to do it by event. So if someone buys, let's say a sticker you're gonna go to items sold the drop down has the items you entered in the input sheet so if I had entered more they would show up here sticker then if you want you can put a description like the kind of sticker if it was a turtle or whatever the design was and then but that's optional and then you can do quantity let's say they bought two it automatically calculates the cost and then you can select how they paid. Let's say they paid cash. So over here, let me actually do a couple more so that we have a little more data that's showing. So then over here, what automatically calculates is the total sales, the amount that was cash, the amount that was card, and you also get percentage of sales. So tote bags were 74.07% of sales, stickers were 7.41%, and coasters were 182 And then you also get a pie chart to show you the same data, the percent of sales as a visual. And then here, these two numbers should be equal. It's a payment method, the total, and then item total. We explain that in the instructions as well. Okay, so that's the first template, pretty straightforward. The second one, if you're choosing to use this template, which again, you're gonna have the option to use either, um, you're gonna go to V1 inputs, and you're not gonna be inputting your prices on this page. You're just gonna put your items and quantities so let me do that okay as you can see I just inputted some data then you're gonna go to v1 sales tracker template duplicate and it's very similar to the one we were just on the only difference is you're gonna manually enter the price let's say someone bought two car coasters because I have a special price that if you buy two it's $22 so they bought two here I can just put $22 and let's say they paid cash Let's add sticker, let's say they did three. So it's not automatically calculating it. I have to enter it. So that'd be $9, and let's say they paid card. And then here, this all calculates the same. So everything's the same, except you have to manually enter your prices. So it's your choice, whichever you wanna use. And again, this is all explained in the instructions when you purchase the tracker. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed. I have no clue how long it is, um, but you guys seem to like the longer ones, so I'm not stressing if it's long. 
It's 7.50 and I need to go eat dinner and I hope to see you in my next vlog. Um, definitely subscribe if you like business content behind the scenes. That's primarily what I film and I'm just so excited to keep making videos. This is what I want to do for a long time. So I hope that you stick around and I appreciate the support and I will see you in my next video.